What up, peeps? We are back. The movie reviews have returned. The strike is over. I'm back talking about movies again, even though I was talking about movies on the low. You know, I was I was whispering in the shadows. I'm like, yo, did you see such and such? Yeah, it was pretty good. And I scurried off into the bushes. But now I can publicly talk about these movies again, man. We back. And the first movie up, it's Thanksgiving. I know technically it's Thanksgiving, but I mean Thanksgiving the movie, the horror movie, the slasher flick. I don't know if y'all remember this, but some years ago, Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino got together and made a couple of grindhouse style movies together. Planet Terror and Death Proof. They initially released them together. You can go see them together. I saw them in theaters together. It was like Planet Terror first and then Death Proof. And then they separated them later on. They didn't ignite the box office. They didn't do anything crazy. As a matter of fact, they, they really took an L at the box office. It was a nice theme, but it was like, eh. To me, the better of the two was Planet Terror. Death Proof was cool, but it was a little too chatty. A little, you know, and it's Quentin Tarantino. Of course it's gonna be chatty, but it was just like, all right, hush. But it was cool, but if you rank Quentin Tarantino's films, Death Proof is towards the bottom. And any list you come across is probably gonna be towards the bottom, guaranteed especially with his resume. So within that, they had fake trailers set up within that. Just some, some low budget, grindhousey, vibey trailers. One of those trailers was for a movie called Thanksgiving and Eli Roth came in and did this. And so I always love that fake trailer because it looks so low budget and so dirty and grimy and the, and the dude doing the voiceover was perfect. It was like, and this time there'll be no leftovers. Thanksgiving. And I was like, yo, man, I would love to see this for real. And, and the way some of the murders were happening within the trailer, it was genius. Fast forward all the way to 2023, we finally get Thanksgiving by Eli Roth. I'm like, okay, let's get it then. Right at Thanksgiving. Beautiful. We got a Thanksgiving. We got another slasher in the mix. The story is centered around a Black Friday going wrong. Now we all know people be losing their goddamn mind at Black Friday. Why are you why are you doing so much just to get another TV you don't need? You have several TVs, you got the toasters, you got the you got the air fryers, you got everything you need. Why are you camping out in front of these stores three, four in the morning? for stuff you don't need. You don't really need it. Black Friday is crazy, and then they keep expanding it, and now it's just a black month. It's black November now. But Black Friday just became this thing that was, I used to work at Best Buy, and I had to work on Black Friday. It was it was a zoo. I almost got into a fist fight. It was bananas. So the story of Thanksgiving centers around a Black Friday going wrong. All hell breaks loose. It's pandemonium in this store. People end up getting killed. It was tragic. It was like, yo, they buck wildin' out here because people really do be fighting and, and getting shot at these Black Fridays for real. So I was like, oh, that's a good premise, actually. So now there's somebody that's killing everybody involved in the mayhem. The real, the, the key players in the mayhem are that Black Friday fiasco. And they're, they're, they're dying horribly. And nobody can figure it out. It's somebody walking around in an old pilgrim mask just doing people dirty in this small town. And I'm all in, man. It's a great slash of a flick, an interesting premise. So now, you know, depending on how well this movie does, and I'm sure the budget was probably low. We gonna see, you know, if, if we got some legs on this for a sequel. We got a new slasher. Once you get a new slasher, you gotta do more. You can't do a one and done. You can't just have one, you know what I'm saying? Scream, Jason, Michael Myers. You gotta you got bring these cats back, man, they're slasher. The movie is full of people I don't know the names of, but I did recognize a few. Patrick Dempsey is in this joint, and uh, Gina Gershon, who I haven't seen since, I haven't seen her in a while. Like, she was everywhere in the 90s, but I'm like, yo, hey, welcome back. This movie is gory, first of all. Like, the kills, some of the kills in here is just like, yo, they really, they really taking it there. And I, I appreciate good practical effects. And that's what we get in this movie. It's like, ugh. So I like the fact that Eli Roth has given us that old school 70s, 80s gore in the kills. I remember this one kill in the trailer, in the fake trailer, where there's a cheerleader bouncing around on the trampoline, and he put the knife up through the trampoline, and she landed right on the coochie first, right on the blade. I was just like, oh, ugh. 
That was a wild visual. But it was a good time. Like, I was entertained. I was just like, yo, these these deaths are wild. Full of characters that you dislike and like, and just like, ugh, I can't stand him. Oh, he gonna get his. So you got the, the slasher cliches is all a good time. And I was entertained throughout. Forget all that. You wanna know the smooth jazz review of Thanksgiving. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving Thanksgiving. I'm gonna give it for what it is, for what Thanksgiving is. I'm giving it four saxophones out of five. It delivered. It's a slasher flick based around Thanksgiving with a solid premise. I mean, it's, it's over the top, but it's a slasher flick. It's always over the top. So yeah, man, I gotta give it that four saxophones out of five. It's entertaining, man. And them deaths is wild. Oh yeah, but it makes me wonder we got Christmas slasher flicks. We got Thanksgiving. Are we missing some some holidays? We got Halloween, of course. I think about time for that Easter. But then, but then Jesus is gonna be like, "Hey, man, nah, we're not doing this." Jesus ain't gonna have that. That's, I'm in on that. But you also in on Christmas. There's Christmas slasher flicks, but Christmas, nah, man. Easter is really me. Labor Day, and the, the labor is murder. I, I don't know. <laughs> we got St. Patrick's Day, President's Day. It could be like, you know, somebody wearing a president's mask just killing people. President's Day. Memorial Day. Nah, because then you messing with it. But it could be like a dead soldier coming coming to, to reap what's his or hers. Independence Day. And they kill you doing the fireworks. We got some options out here, I'm just saying. All right, peeps, that's my review of the movie Thanksgiving. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comment section below. And what other slasher flicks would you like to see based on a certain theme or holiday or celebration? Throw some in the comments. Let me know. And do you remember Grindhouse? And if you do, what do you like better, Death Proof or Planet Terror? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.